What's up, everybody? It's your boy Demo. Demo flips team us 100%. You already know how we get down on this channel 100% real, no sugar coating, no lies, wins and losses. But first and foremost, I want to say God bless. I hope this video is finding you in great health and great wealth. If you guys have ever watched the TRA sales when I picked up that commander, which sold, I gotta get, I gotta catch up with you guys with what sold because um, I'm not really showing you guys that, but I gotta get with you. You'll remember this one, 2009 Dodge Journey. Remember it had the shifting problem? So we were able to get that, finally won it. It's here now. Um, the They broke the key at the auction. So I had to order some keys and get them in. Well, they should be here today. So I'm getting ready to leave. I had them shipped to my house. I will bring them here in the morning. I thought they'd be here by the morning, but they weren't. And I had stuff to do. So I can't be out here messing around all day long. But this is the car. You already seen it in the other video. But I'll go over it real quick for you. 2009 Dodge Journey. About 1.45 on the clock. I know a lot of people hate these things, including myself. I just happen to do really well with these. She needs some love. Actually, it looks like they cleaned it when it was in there. But we'll do the headlights. We'll get her running. We'll fix that linkage. So she starts. Whoa. You can see, like, this is coming off. But other than that, this is, this is nothing that can't just be cleaned. That is not for this car. That's for Leroy's dually. And you can see the key is right there. It's just broken. So... Again, you got this. This is how it looks back here. And I, for, I don't even know if this thing's got third row or not. But it is definitely dirty. No sunroof, unfortunately. Let me see if the back's open. This thing is crazy. We have been moving a lot of units. I'll say that. So, you know, every time... Now, nah, this thing, it's going to need the battery. So, I don't know if it's got third row or not. But every time we're getting units in here, they are going out. And like I said, I have started to wholesale a lot of cars. And I really like that a lot better than everything else. So anyways, guys, this is new to the inventory. Tell me what you'd, you'd pay for this thing uh, in your area. Again, it's really hard to say what you'd pay for a car that's not running, right? But again, you have to figure that they're paying $700 to $800 for scrap. We bought this car not running. Bought that Malibu, I'm sorry, Monte Carlo not running. We bought this car, the 15 not running. Bought that 03 not running. Um, there's another Malibu that I already sent out, not running to get fixed. So as you guys can see, I've worked myself into a little niche here where cars like this 13. By the way, I didn't know, I did not know it had this much body damage from the photos at Mannheim. And it got me. Like, it didn't look that bad. Like, the headlight wasn't that wasn't cracked. That The thing wasn't cracked. But I'm about to buy another one as a donor that has all the parts to get this one running. And the guy wants three grand for it. It's hit in the back. So, you know what? Um, I'm going to delete all that. I'll edit this video somewhat. No, you know what? I'll keep it, but I'm going to get back to the other video. And it's windy as hell. Guys, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.